this section we are going to talk about different data types in Python. So in Python there is a different data types as in other uh, program languages as well. So let me just go ahead and uh, see. You see, so right now we have integer, we have a float, we have a string, we have a list and dictionaries and we have a different types of, but as of now I just want you to focus on uh, first two, it's integer and float. So what is the integer stands for? It's a whole number such as number three, number 200, number 300. You see they're whole numbers and we call it integer. But whenever we talk about decimals, so 2.3, 4.6, even 100.0 and all of them are float number. Okay, so let me just dive into the Google Collab and let's see how it's uh, looks like in a Google Collab. So for example, if I want to say two plus three, if I run my code, so the result is going to be five. You see how simple is that? That is the beauty of Python. It's all about simplicity. There's only three uh, three steps done. It's it's the same as you put the, all of them in calculator. You, so you put, you just uh, dial on number two, plus and three. Only three operations was done. And I have a two plus three, which is five. Easy. So let me see. Uh, and also I can put some spaces in between. If I run it, it still is going to give me five to me. Or I can put a oops, let, I can put a couple of them. Oops. You see, so right now I have a two and space, 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 and plus three, which is absolutely fine. It is going to print the five to me. So yeah. Uh, let me just get, get it back so, and the uh, view will be in a different way. So yeah, now 2 plus 3. So in all, also in other operations, I have a 4 minus 3. It is going to print the 1 to me. Or I can say 2 times 5 and it also gives it a 10. And how it looks like on, on division. So for example, I will say 4 divided by uh, 6 divided by 4 if I run it. So right now it gives me a float number. So later on in other sections, we are going to talk about how I can convert my float number to the integer or how can I run that. But uh, we will uh, learn later on. So you can also ask, hey, what if I will print 3 plus 2? Is it going to print a 5 to me? Of course, if I run it, it still is going to print the result as a 5. So that is operation. So how can I print in math? Uh, 2 to the power 3 or I have a number to the power another number. So in the Python it's a little bit in the difference so I can say 2 to the power uh, 3 and uh, it is going to print 8 for me. You see? So also I can put the different spaces over here and I can put the space over here if I run it it still gives me 8 and so on. And one more operation that we are going to use a lot uh, in Python, so we call it mode. So if I say I want to divide 7 divided by 4, my result is going to be 1.75. But if you remember from the uh, elementary school math, I can say that if I want to divide four, uh, 7 by 4, I can go, uh, go to the 7, 1 and there's a 3 remainder. Do you remember that? If I divide seven by four, so the four goes one to make a seven and there's a three remainder. So what I can say that seven and mode uh, three, uh, mode four, so the result is going to give you three because, uh, or let me just give another sample. So if I say 12 mode uh, three, and the result is going to be zero because the 12 is perfectly divisible by three. There is no any remainder left over. Or le uh, let me just give another scenario. So I will say 45 mode two, and it is going to give you one because the 45 is not divisible by two. I can just reduce 45 to the 44. So 44 is perfectly divisible by two. And to go to the 45, I need only one more integer. You see, so that so uh, we will use the mode a lot later on in our uh, different assignments. For instance, so if I try to understand if the number is even or odd, so for example, if I say 55 mod 2, you see, so uh, the question is, is 55 odd number or even number? In order to understand that, uh, if I run it, 
the mode supposed to be uh, other than zero. If the mode is zero, that means that is even number. If it's not zero, so that is odd number. If I run it, so that gives me result as a one, that means the 55 is not even number, it's odd number. We can add uh, uh, more than one operation in the same time. So for instance, I can say two, one plus four multiply by two and plus five. If I run it, so as a default, it, it applies a PIMDA, so it goes a parenthesis, explanation, multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. So you see it goes with that operation. So four plus four times two, and after that plus one plus five, and it gives a result to me. And also I can have them in a, in a parenthesis. If I put all of them, so I will just separate them, oops. I will just separate them in a like that one if I run it so it gives me in, in the correct order of operation.